The crypto craze is still sweeping the world and everyone wants to trade and invest into cryptocurrencies. But if you're new to this world, you start to get into it, you might just think that they're speaking a different language to the rest of us. And some of those phrasing terms I use are extremely crazy. And in this video, I'm going to give you new guys 21 of those uh, phrases, words, terms, so that you can understand what you're doing in the crypto world. Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. Let's get straight into it then with our first one, and it's HODL, H-O-D-L, meaning hold on for dear life. Now, this is a common strategy with the crypto world. They just buy it, and like it says, they hold on for dear life, hoping that it's going to go to the moon. And that leads me on to my second one, which is to the moon, meaning that they're hoping, the traders and investors in the crypto world, that the price is going to skyrocket and go to the moon. Now our next one is the abbreviation BTC, and that is just the ticker symbol representing Bitcoin. And we move on to our next DCA, that stands for Dollar Cost Averaging. And that's a strategy to buy cryptocurrencies, whatever one it might be, at regular intervals regardless of the price. Now, you might hear traders and investors saying that they've got their cryptos in their wallet, and it's like the physical wallet you would use every day with your bank cards and your cash. And in this space, it's a digital place to store your cryptocurrencies. Blockchain, well, this is a really important one, and it's the key technology that underpins most of cryptocurrency world. It's basically a digital ledger. Now the phrase mining, that's the process by which new coins enter into circulation. So it's not like mining for coal or anything physical, but it is actually a digital mining process and it does require a lot of computer power and that is where the eco-environmentalists um, um, dislike these cryptocurrencies because they do use up a lot of electricity. Ethereum is the number two cryptocurrency after Bitcoin. It's just an open source blockchain software controlling the crypto ether. Now Dogecoin is something that was set up initially as a joke by Elon Musk, a meme type cryptocurrency, but it is now worth staggering 30 billion in terms of market capital. So it's become almost a legitimate cryptocurrency coin. So what is a cryptocurrency? Well, it's an all digital money system made of coins or tokens controlled by a decentralized ledger. A DEX, a DEX, it's a decentralized exchange and that's where you can trade cryptocurrencies without a central exchange slash company. Now you might hear the term fiat it's nothing to do with the cars it just means it's a traditional currency like euros pounds or dollars and our next one being fork again nothing to do with food and eating it's a change in crypto protocol where one version forks off from the other and once you get into your trading and you be presented with options to um, do that trading with and one of them is called margin trading and that is where you're using borrowed money on leverage to speculate on crypto so this is high risk rewards it can equal big returns but it can also equal big losses so it's basically a ratio of the money that a broker or exchange is giving you to leverage up on FOMO stands for fear of missing out and it simply means that traders, investors who are interested in this cryptocurrency space see the price rocketing up and they all jump on board to try and you know, benefit from that increase 
and they do so because they don't want to miss out on the subsequent price rise. Now the NFT is a non-fungible token and it's linked to Ethereum and it's basically something that is unique, one of a kind that can't be re replaced by anything. And it could be a work of art or a collectible, a one of a kind that's made into a verifiable asset. Now a Satoshi is the smallest unit of measurement of a Bitcoin and it's named after the founder of Bitcoin, Satoshi, and it's actually one millionth of a Bitcoin. Now a FUD is a fear, uncertainty, doubt, and it comes with all traders and investors. Is it, Are they doing the right thing, buying, selling at the right time? So you might suffer FUD as a new uh, trader investor in this space. So look out for that phrase. And another phrase is RECT, R-E-K-T. And this is a gaming world phrase um, taken from there. And it, in this space, it basically means, you know, that you've blown up um, your account as the price collapses. You are wrecked, basically. Another term, BTFD, is buy the effing dip. And again, this is popular in stock trading. It's when the price comes off, everyone tries to jump back in hoping that the price of whatever cryptocurrency is going to rise dramatically. And finally, the term whale. Now this applies to all financial markets and gamblers of the world. In this space, it's the big players. It's the guys that hold over 5% of any cryptocurrency. These guys can move the markets and if you can, they are the ones to watch. There you go, 21 key bits of cryptocurrency terminology to hopefully help you new traders, investors in this space get on a lot more easily in the market. Now, if you've heard of any other um, phrases and terms that I haven't put here, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to let me know anything else about cryptocurrencies, again, put it down in the comments below. If you want to find out more about what I do at The Stop Hunter, links down in the description. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive further notifications around content similar to this and around other aspects of cryptocurrencies and financial markets um, in the future. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video.